Up for gameplay view of Aim Hero. On this one, we're playing Aim Hero, a uh, how do I say this? A basically a first-person shooter aim trainer or mouse aim trainer. Uh, it came out September fifth, twenty sixteen, for the price of four dollars ninety nine cents U.S. and of course it had, and of course it had an opening opening launch. Sale, which I forgot what that exactly that was. But anyway, so yeah, this is a hero. Um, that's basically it. Basically, this game is all about testing your, uh, testing your aim for first-person shooters. Now this game does something interesting, which basically you can imp well, it can import your control scheme from different games, and you, as, as you can see, you got the game gives you. Uh, two sensitivity types, one for CSGO and one for Overwatch. I have CSGO, I just don't play it, because I just don't like, I just don't like it. It's just, meh, to me. It's no, it's no Halo Battlefield, or anything like that, no. Uh, it's fine, but it's a bit dated for what it is. I mean, like it hasn't, like CSGO hasn't evolved. Ghostwick has not evolved since its iteration, pretty much. And Overwatch is fine, I, I don't have it. Uh, I decided to get uh, Paragon and Babylon instead. But I'll go with whichever one of these I um, I like the best for training purposes. Uh, sensitivity? Oh, yeah, this is it. Crosshair, and I do plan on adding more sensitivity types. This was just added in the patch, Crosshair. Ooh, Dots. Or Disable, ooh, that's a good one. All right, can she use color? No. Oh yeah, when, when he first came out, the uh, color, oh. There's the music. Yeah, I just started the game by the way, so I'm not quite sure why that was why that was so loud. Oh let's point five. Okay, that's fine. There we go, that's better. Alright, by the way, so yeah, this game was given to me by the developer from a site called uh, Q Mailer, which is a site in which if you're a well if you just a if you're part of the press, either a YouTuber, blogger, twi Twitterer, um, have a website, anything like that, you can go to a key mailer, join, or you can go to email, make an account, and then request keys. Uh, I forgot my request that it came for Aim Pure or they gave it to me, which, which I did forget. I, I did forget. I did forget which. I did forget which happened, but I do thank them nevertheless for uh, leaving me a key because I. I was actually kind of excited for this game because you know me, I'm terrible with mouse controls. So, um, you know, I really wanted to try it. I actually almost got it when it was on, I almost got an opening week, reach, opening week sale, but the reason why I didn't get it is simple. Well, 4 dollars is pretty much a good price for this game for what it is. I didn't get it because it didn't have sensitivities for games I play, which are, uh, you no know, games like Heroes of Generals, um, Battlefield. I don't play Battlefield on PC, obviously, but still. Um, the infinity would be nice to since 24, but I guess like their main, I guess the main thing that I would play with a mouse as a first-person shooter would be here at the Generals. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to change it with um with this thing called War Joystick, but yeah, which basically allows me to use the controller for any game. Uh, I just got set, I just got set it up. It works fine. I just need to step more. All right, by the way, so um, yeah, well, it, I'm. I still want to try using mouses because I'm astounding with a joystick. I, you know, if, you know, if I was able to play, let's say, if I was able to play a Battlefield game on console versus someone playing a Battlefield game on computer, I would probably beat them into the ground. Um, it's basically be a class, if basically if I had cross platform, I'll beat them in the ground, no problem. Uh, basically my AI's in studio or <laughs> Battlefield like the upper mid city with a no emesis, stuff like that, I would be able to own them with their 360 no scopes whatnot. That PC will do. Um, so yeah. And you know when I do get 
controls the games. I don't, I don't do terrible. I do actually pretty well. So yeah, by the way, so let's start. Now, uh, as you can see, there's different. There are various different uh, modes, which I think there's one that one what I originally came out with. Yeah. Let's see, egg training, target training, pit duck kill training, simple aim training, reflex training, reflex aim training, and uh, fast aiming. And actually, let's do classic skill. I probably should do. I probably should do. Mean, I probably should go too low, but oh well. Uh, but let's try. Let's start medium for right now, and let's start. All right. Oh yeah, actually. Oh wow, see this go. That's like a good thing. All right, start training, but mm, I want to mess with this instant view real quick. Oh wow, the minions are super fast. Make this thirty five. Actually, it's amazing since today, actually. And it is very similar to, uh, it is very similar to, um, as generals. Alright, well, actually, I want to up it for, uh, I actually want to up it more. I have a good eight. There we go. That's better. Alright. Oh, also, I guess I'm training for, um, I don't know, Paladins would be nice too. Or doing my aim for Paladins would be nice too. Alright. R. Sorry, two, one. Now, this game is also doubles as a time attack game. Ah! Ah, come on! Oh, by the way, my mouse is actually old and breaking, so yeah. I'm having no real issues other than my mouse being old. I am not be able to make the menu adjustments I need A because the mouse is all in B because of the controller. I mean because of the mouse. Ah. Ah, I'm trying to make the I'm trying ah, wait, hold it. Okay, man is too much. So let's try overwatch real quick. I mean, it is a newer game. Cause you know, CSGO is meant to be like a, a HG remake of the, of the original Counter-Strike as far as I remember. All right. Let's try this. A little bit better. Oh, perfect. So yeah, if you, if you, even if you are a, come on. I'm pushing, yeah, A, that's my mouse having issues, and B, that's just my just mouse in general. I was pushing it a little bit, but unfortunately, I couldn't, you know, do it. I wasn't pushing it enough. Hey, how am I supposed to get all these circuits, or are you not supposed to? Come on! By the way, I, I just, I, the thing about me is I always, regardless of games, uh, I always, regardless of games, move by the same amount. You know, move my, move my mouse or joystick by the same, or my control stick by the same amount. It doesn't work. I basically, I move it for, I move it exactly what I need for the screen. Well, I see on the screen, unfortunately, dead zones and whatnot doesn't help. By the way, get total shots 53, total hits 50, uh, 45, total misses 8, accuracy 84. That's good for me. Average time to hit 0 0.8724301. And whenever you say a number like that, you are supposed to say the entire thing. You're not supposed to say 0.8 because that's a totally, completely different number. Total score 29,000. 20, All right. How do I do this? Good or bad? You know what? Let's go back to uh, let's go back to Counter Strike Go because it does have a very similar sensitivity to again. Here's the generals. Okay, let's do uh, sleeping about. Ah, sorry. Gotta get in a good position. Wait, Jay, you may be wondering why I'm trying to try play this game with my mouse. Um, well, I won't be able to get a new mouse until uh, until next month uh, because I already because I 
basically uh, spend my budget for this month with uh, Glow Expeditions for both Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2. Uh, so yeah. Alright, strafe training. So, are the targets strafing or are we strafing? Oh, targets strafing. Oh, wow. Oh, it's dodging me too! Ah! Use the force. Ah, lower sensitivity. Let's start raising this. There we go. That's it. 8,200 DPI, everyone. Eh. Eh, again, like there's... There's dead zone. Which... My mouse automatically has dead zone, which... I guess I could try to figure out how to turn it off on my mouse, not that I think, but I don't think there's a way to, though. Alright, let's try that again. Sorry. I was in position a moment ago, but unfortunately, I got a position. Which I always need position to play games, especially games that require high amounts of skill. Alright. Moving around. Mouse in a good spot. There we go. Let's try this again. It. I didn't know this guy was gonna have AI. What the f this guy? Oh, I totally should have got him. One of those strikes. There we go. Come on. Oh, I should got him twice there. Okay, love my mouse to 400 DPI. Oh, I'm using a Logitech G700, 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 G700S mouse. I could have said that the first time if it wasn't for my mouth being in a way. I guess there's bullet delay as well, I guess. So I didn't, it wasn't expecting a bullet, bullet beak, come on. This guy? But yeah, um, it has, basically I have it on, I have the mouse, I have the, I have three sensitivity settings on this profile, at least my gaming profile. Uh, I have it on 8,200 DPI, 4,200 DPI, which is what I usually have it on, and 400 DPI, which is what I'm having on now for the finer aiming. Eh. This guy, I swear. Ah, uh, I just got cross-eyed. Or I'm having a headache. I don't know why. I don't think it's the game. It's just, ah. Uh, I, I don't know. It's not the game. It's just me right now. Okay, let's try Pinto. Oh, this should be fun. Five kills. Ah! Oh, I only got five rounds. I only have five rounds. Now there's definitely a bullet delay, which is good. I don't know, I should get the guy, should I? I should get at least three of them that time. So maybe there's a hit detection issue. Yeah, I should get that guy as well. Okay, you have a hit detection issue then. Oh, they got different sites for this, all right. Ah, different places to set up. Okay, where are they coming from? Over there. Yeah, my gun, is my gun shooting blanks? Yeah, is my gun shooting blanks? Okay, okay, that time I meant, I meant to start, I mean it's, I meant to start by hitting the left mouse button, there we go. Actually, you know what I was like, how many rounds do we have actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Oh, we have eight rounds, alright. Basically, we're using a 45. I do like how these guys are randomly generated, too. Ah! Yes! Yeah, stripping, I mean, Penny apparently is having some hit detection issues, because I was. I should have definitely hit, should have hit them that time. On box? Somebody's coming out that direction. See, I should have got that middle one twice. On score, it's by. You know, your gun is being really, really slow, which having. Uh, which having bullet impacts be helpful. To, sh show, to show you are. To show how slow your rounds are. I think I first time. How did I? Yeah, there's definitely some hit the issues in this mode. Yeah. The last shot would have missed, but the shot before my final hit should have hit. Um by my soul, it's too simple. I don't like the music, it's very calming. Oh this guy. Actually, being lower, but I am trying to aim up by the way. I'm making the minute adjustment, but it's just not happening. Yeah, that was. Yeah, let's try that again. And again, I like the fact that everything is fast loading screens. Sorry. Getting adjusted again. Alright. I, mean, I like I like how fast it is to go into and matches, to restart, stuff like that. Alright. No, I, yeah, this totally does help with. Oh, he came out this time. This, he came out there for this time, alright. Oh, you. Gotcha. Anyone else? Oh, perfect so far. Ah! Mouse. I did try to. I did push the mouse up, by the way. I just didn't do it. the hacks okay that time we should have hit that should hit that time should hit that they hit that time yeah, the type of head detection issues I would say which may be intentional for you know company for lag I guess but that I don't think don't think so which I guess that'd be a good game mode to have uh have official lag compensation uh, okay that's just be being bad shoot come on okay one yeah, there is bullet delay, which is a good thing. I guess it'd be nice. I, I guess it'd be nice to adjust to, to have the ability to adjust your bullet delay for whatever gun you're most likely losing or what game you're playing. Because you know, in Call of Duty, there's no such thing as bullet delay. Where Battlefield, there is such thing as bullet delay. Um, and you want to try different guns, and then you got like Halo, which which doesn't apply on PC. Unless of course you're playing Halo Online, which is entirely possible. Because this is Steam after all rushed again by this game. We have various bullet uh, delays. But it's usually the same. Well, for all, I love this game. Uh, okay, I love this practice program. Come on. Except that the bullet delay issues. I understand why having... I understand why... I understand why not having. <laughs> why is he not getting shot? I guess, I guess it's bullet delay. But yeah, I'm used to having tracers and bullet impacts. Which I understand why there are no tracers or bullet impacts. Or I, I could understand the reason for why there isn't. It's simple because it might be too difficult to program for how some of the game is. Like having, um, having targets pop when the game decides. When the game decides your bullet is going to impact it, that's one thing. Having it also impact on the background is a bit tougher. Hey, targets are there. Uh, okay. Oh, it says in the top in the top center, it says out of a, out a certain number. Oh, we got time limit too, okay. I moved the mouse game. Actually, I moved the mouse mouse. I mean, other than the other than you might not oh come on we can do this don't get 
Alright, in the training report. Total shots, 89. Total hits, 40. Total misses, 49. Accuracy, 44. Every time to hit, 4.5. Total score, 15,500. Alright. That's what I meant. Actually, that's exactly what I pressed, but I meant to go back to the main screen. Um, but yeah. But yeah, having bullet, having bullet impacts at the very least, um, that would really, really help with the aiming, because... Um, you know, I don't know a single game that doesn't have bullet impacts in it. Unless it's a really, really old game, and the graphics were, and the graphics, and the graphics were really, really simple, even by the, even by them standards, even by back then standards. Um, but you know what? It does help. You know, it, it does help training in which basically you don't have, you don't have, you only have your mouse and the, you only have your crosshairs, the target. And that's all information you have, which just help. But you know, it'd be nice to have it. Like, it'd be nice to have a bullet impact at the very least. Trace would be nice too, but but well, but it might just be too hard. I mean, there isn't, right? All right. Well, we were on simple net reflex. Oh, this should be fun. Actually, let's look at the different sites real quick. We'll play. We'll play them through though. All right, we got this in our own now. Come on. By the way, this is just my flaw occurring where I basically fire before. I basically predict that like, the thing is coming and fire a little bit beforehand. Why aren't you dying? I was going to make. I was going to make excuses for my. Fe I was going to tell you why I made. There you go. Why wasn't it doing before? All right, by the way, so that's that map. Um, uh, one box. Come on. Ah. Oh, whoa, look at him in front of me. All right. Okay, now let's try reflex. There's just one, there's just one. Alright, and we're taking a quick drink of water, then uh, we'll continue. Alright, back. Hopefully, I did that out. Alright, yeah, I mean, I was. Uh, I drink some water, I ended up trouble burping again. But I might as well let's continue. Oh my word, no, uh, I don't, I don't, I can't. Yeah, I mean, right now, uh, I don't know what's. I guess I'm not feeling my best right now. Um, it might. Ah, head. Um. Ah, I mean, cross-eyed or something. It's weird. Uh, I, I know it's totally. I'm having issues right now. It's not the game at all. I don't think it is the game. I don't think it's the game anyway. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I see. There are bullet impacts in this mode. So I wonder why they don't have any. Otherwise, oh come on. Yeah, uh, I would now I wish there was a setting to delay these bla delay these scoundrels. So for people like me who aren't back, ah, to protect where they're coming from. Who aren't? Ah, yeah, yeah, that's just that. I can't do that. That's a no. Nope. Uh, fast thing. Let's try this. They should be more kind. There we go. Right, come on, I'm moving the mouse, but it doesn't do much. Yeah, I I definitely need to get a new mouse before trying this. All right, total shot 17, total hits 11, total misses 6, accuracy 64, average hit 0 0.766709, 8,000. Oh, I can just try to do better. All right, total hits 12, total, or total shots 12, total hits 10, total misses 2, accuracy 83, 10 to hit, 0 0.83, 0 0.803, total score 8,000, I mean 9,000, all right, best score 9,000, okay, did better than that previous one, good. 
All right. Um, well, I should all need to show off, so now I'll just practice off camera. Although, I'll wait for a new mouse to really, really practice because I was having issues with this one. Um, yeah, I think there's a way to make to get rid of the dead zone on a mouse uh, by messing with windows. Um, I guess I should go look and try that. Um, but yeah, so what do I think of Aim Hero? Well, it was actually better than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, no, he's actually sublime. He's actually a good work for it. It is another one of those perfect games. Again, it's not a game that should be played by everyone, although this is definitely a game that should be played by anyone that has any interest about getting into shooters, or even just want to test their skills. Um, but yeah, this game does what it does perfectly, uh, which is a game in which you practice your mouse aiming skills in first person shoot in a, in in first person shooters and this game that allows you to do that perfectly um i you know i this game as it is right now for four nine for four dollars nine nine cents us is actually really really good although i do wish that some game modes had different settings like the reflex mode which you could set that the reflex timer down a little bit uh or make them appear on the screen for a little bit longer than what they actually are um I wish you could make it the strafing target be a little bit dumber uh, before going into the eyes. I mean, how it is right now, this game is actually. You need. It, you know, it, it's made for going into PvP as opposed to going into PvE. You know, it's meant for. It's made for online multiplayer first person shooters. It's not meant for single player first person shooters nearly as much. It would help. It definitely would help. But it's not really meant for it. Um, so that's hint, hence why the strafing target. I expect a human who actually tries to dodge you as opposed to an AI which would sit there maybe, which for the most part would sit there for a second uh, and let you hit him in the face. Um, but I also wish there was a way to shorten up some of the levels like the uh, classic is kind of too long um, but it does help. Um, I kind of no, but what I really wish for are um, impacts on all walls to basically so you can see basically so you can know where your shot landed because as of right now since there is some bullet delay which you can which also do wish that you can change bullet delay uh from call of duty instant to call of duty instant to battlefield realistic or battlefield armor realistic delays uh to list generals it takes a second for all guns stuff like that uh that'd be nice um um, but yeah, I mean, I wish there was bullet impacts, just like in the, uh, just like in the levels with the black, with the black screen to let you know, oh, I missed, um, by how much, because right now it doesn't feel like you're missing, it feels like the game is not registering your hits, uh, which may be true, but I doubt it, uh, so it basically it's hard to adjust your aim, basically what I'm trying to say, it's hard to adjust your aim from, uh, basically it's hard to adjust your aim after your first shot, actually, it, it basically, you can't just aim at the first shot. There is no seeing ball impacts and so seeing tracers to see, oh, I missed by that much. Uh, so I wish there was that. And I wish, been, you know, like I could turn off crosshairs. I wish you could also, you know, I, I wish you'd be able to disable that in case you want to be harder on yourself and more and try your aiming a little bit better. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, um, I would, I definitely recommend this game a lot. Um, maybe all the changes that I definitely were making it home, you might have. Not yet. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I was feeling fine before I record, by the way, but once I started to record, I felt excited and, uh, yeah. Oh, I felt really, really excited. Um, but anyway, so, um, getting back to the, getting back to the video. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anyone that's trying to get into shooters or wants a little practice. Now, I always, now, I, I've always, you know, first person shooters, one of my most favorite things about them, in most, in most first person shooters I have them, is their training range. You know, like the pit from Call of Duty, Mom for Two, um, and just various training levels, but not training levels, training levels, I mean, basically where you're going into a training environment to, um, learn. Like, obviously, the, uh, pit from, no, that's wrong with me, so the pit from, uh, Probably more for two, which is one of my favorites, to the uh, training from uh, Titanfall 2 to um, 
Miles is there. Uh, Battle Family 43 is training. It's a little bit odd. It, you know, it's like that too. And this game is basically the bottom of it. It's basically its purest form. You don't even move. You just uh, you just sit there and shoot targets all day long, which is really cool. Um, I wish, you know what I wish for in this game, I've been thinking about this ever since I heard of this game, is I wish for a game mode that tests, basically that allows you to move, uh, with WASD. Um, uh, I know this game is not necessarily meant for testing your movement, um, uh, but it'd be nice if there were, uh, if there were basically randomly generated levels with movement involved, so you can test your, um, so you can test your, how you, how your, Let's get test how you aim while moving, because that's another skill in itself. But I guess it's more of a you, you test that out when you're actually playing, because all games are like that. Um, so yeah. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, it's a really good, especially for the price. Um, you can't really go wrong. All right, so um, yeah, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really wish I do wish you guys go. Oh, I, I guys go watching this video. That's me. Well, if you want to leave a comment in the most right direct conditions, or do we make a serial scheme or not, which, uh, I don't think you can do, really. Uh, I can definitely, if, it, if this game is updated with two game modes, I can definitely do them. Um, when I get a new mouse, I can definitely try and come back and play, play this game again. Uh, but other than that, um, I can't really make this game a series, but it's, I will definitely be playing this game off camera to get better at, you know, get better at using a mouse and first person shoot. So yeah, um, I mean, I, I guess it's not as bad all as I thought it was, being able to do those challenges pretty easily except for the race flex like, starter, which is insane. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I I think of a game in which the reflex target is actually more or less useful in. Other than classic first person shooters, uh, you know, that, I guess that is, I guess as a guy, I guess it's basically a guy getting up from cover. Um, about to shoot you is what that is, um, uh, which is in every modern first person shooter, especially tactical first person shooters. So yeah, I guess it does make sense. Um, but I have actually some practice because I need to work on my motion at my, no, my motion at, uh, tiny intervals and maybe testing out some mouse setups to, uh, fix that. Because as you can see, my mouse gaps. And I'm playing four, so it's not doing anything, so yeah. So yeah, but I think, you know, but like I said, I need to get, I'm, I'm going to get an email support, I really, really try. Because why, because what's the point of uh, practicing on a broken mouse when you can practice on a new one? Alright, so well, um, anyway, so if that be it for this video, um, oh yeah, so if, I uh, also have a Twitter in which I tweet tw out channel dates, as well as news about games I'm doing, we'll be doing, I have done. Uh, or news in general that I think I'm interested in. Also, if you're interested in thinking about your game on my ch uh, you seen, uh, if you're interested in seeing me play your, if you're, if you're interested in seeing, um, uh, your game on the channel, or, uh, interested in club, I do have a best to say most you contact me on, or which you can email, email me on, email me on, which you can find in, which you can find in the description as well, as the link to my Twitter page in the description as well. And, um, I can also send me a prime message if you if you much prefer to do that instead. Uh, and if you have a question about this video or suggestion for a series, please uh, please tell me in the comments below instead of sending me an email or a private message. Um, so so basically, so other people can see in the comments. People can so if you put in the comments, other people can see it as opposed to not. So yeah, I get that. I get that. This can be totally worth it. And I guess. See you in the skin.